Hello and welcome everybody, this is your host, Nirva, and you are just in time for a quick look at the Guild of Dungeoneering. <clears throat> this is a... Interesting game about running a dun running a guild of dungeoneers, sending them off to their death, and then doing it again and again. Yeah, it's a little it's a little uh the base explanation is a little bare is a little bare bone. This is a pretty bare bone game in general. I'm not entirely sure how long this is gonna take. Don't expect it to take too long. Um, so here we have the main screen. Once you start the game, you usually start with just the guild hall, and then you'll add buildings on as you as you get more. Of them. Uh, to do that, you have to expand your guild, which involves you buying these different things based on the might, magic, or loot area. Loot increases the amount, the type of loot, and the amount of loot you can unlock. While you're, in, while you're in a dungeon, magic is your magic wielder, magic users. Might is your more durability or power based characters. Um, this is a game that's not really meant to be taken too hatefully seriously. I mean, you unlock a cat burglar and all their, all their attacks are cat themed. They even, they even have an ability called cat now. Um, but yeah, so, like I said, you'll buy, you'll buy something like, let's say, let's for example, uh, let's see here, oh, hmm, yeah, we'll do that, we'll buy that, and we got, we bought a talisman here, so, I bought, so all the talismans you don't, normally, normally whenever you buy something, you'd have to put it up in the guild hall for it to be, Work with talismans. You don't. Um, instead, when you choose your dungeon, we go into this new one here. You get to choose one of your uh, talismans here or blessings. Um, what that does? I'm starting hit size or plus one heart. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna choose that. Let's see. We have a mine bruiser. Trump, Alchemist, Apprentice. I think I feel what the apprentice is. Is there a way I can check it up? You're the barbarian. I tend to do good with the barbarians in this game. Um and now we're gonna go into a dungeon. We're gonna go into the main core of the game and as soon as we start, we get to choose uh hmm. These are all hats, so I'm going to... This will give me a... Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, here we got our uh, our turn. So we get to create the dungeon, in a way. Uh, and I'm going to... Put that there. Not much else I can do. Um, a little one minion there. And... Oh, oh. So I want to connect it to this. Uh, okay, I think I'm done. So once it, you get to place up to three cards down, you have monsters, you have dungeon park, and you have loot, which we didn't have any on here. Um, and usually you can put each tile can support one of each. You can put down a, tile, a dungeon tile, a monster, and loot on the same tile. Uh, you cannot, like, this, this tile here can only accept a monster as an extra thing, so. I'm not gonna put a monster down there, because I'm just gonna enter and we'll start combat. Combat is card based, so whatever you have in your deck currently is going to determine what you can play. And oftentimes, with my luck at least, it is completely ranked. So right there, we actually did a pretty good job with the fight. Um, these goggles will replace our hats, so we get new cards in addition to. Uh, 
and you, in addition to losing the cards and the other buffs that we may have. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna the rope. Okay. That's... Oh. Oh, I think we need to go down here. I think. Yeah, I think that's where we need to head to that area. So we don't have anything that can help us now. So hmm. we'll play the fire elemental here. <sighs> you cannot build onto a dungeon unless you have unless it's connected to the tile that you can travel on. So I can't place the tile down here. Because I'm not having connected to it yet. Can't place gold. Can't place loot on the same tiles. I'm gonna do that. Better than nothing. And huh? how is it going to help? Oh, it won't help because of him. Right. Okay. Uh, so combat is very simple, uh, red shield block red damage, unless they have a shield, uh, shield symbol here, blue shield block blue damage, again, unless they have the shield. And, uh, yeah, great blows. The minus heart there will take away hearts from you in order to do the attack. Um, Oh wait, no. I think that might. Does that restore that much health? Or is that just. It says your health becomes that. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. We got some more loot. Uh. Love is actually really good. Yeah, we'll do that. So now we're fully decked out. And... Monster in there. That's a special room right here. The, room, the Rune of Fate. If we defeat them, we get the rune, and we get one of these favors. Uh, I have yet to do that in actual combat. Um... You know, I can actually place those down there, so... feel like fighting is all that necessary at this point, we won't worry about monsters. We're gonna have to fight the scorpion, anyway. So it's got a red block card, so whatever attack we have, unless you overpower, it's gonna block all of the red. Which is our physical attack, by the way. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. And then blue is our magical attack, so yeah. There's a the dynamic there. Uh, you know what? Let's make my attack unblockable. Let's see here. Hmm. Block. There we go. And we're gonna hit him with two and recover three. And then then the fight. Can we level up? Do we get... Ooh! Okay. So right up here we got, with the wooden shield we have our repel, repel card, which does to block 3 physical damage. But it also has Tenacious. This is a special ability that we'll have. Uh, we cannot be killed unless on one part. So anything that deals two more damage can't kill us unless we're at one health anyway. In which case it doesn't really matter anymore. Um hmm. 
户。He lost one because of his night owl ability. Um, okay, no. In the turn here. And we'll go into the next fight. And. I'm gonna save that refresh for later. We might need it later. Oh, this will at least do one damage, so... There we go! Anything we get now, we'll just lose. So we might want to go ahead and just take some gold instead. So now we have some... Stuff we can put in our dungeon for reward. To encourage our... Intrepid... <coughs> hero... To, uh... Carry on. So we can block at least one of his attacks. We'll do that. There we go. Okay, that would have been much more helpful. Okay. And we can't block those, so we can attack. And these can't be blocked, so there we go. Yeah, the game looks pretty easy so far, but I can guarantee you, I can go ahead and tell you this right now, it's not. Uh, ooh. Physical attacks, yeah. So... That actually, the sword is pretty good with dice because it'll give us an extra attack on unblock if an enemy uses an unblockable attack. Which I don't think that we need a whole lot right now. The other one gives us plus two magic damage with successful plus three hearts. Oh, that's just a, oh, that's see, that's the that's the magic, that's the that's the card ability. Yeah, I kinda like that. I kinda like that one better. So we'll just take the gold. So we'll reach the destination in less than four turns. Um, right here we see a mysterious fountain. This can be a, a positive or a negative ability. Uh, it chain is random. So right here on the map we have one on three plates that's a negative ability. Uh, so yeah, we're not even going to bother with that one, but I am going to go ahead and end my turn, and go ahead and end it again, there we go, now we'll fight the fire elemental, and I'm going to go ahead and attack, give me three health, the good thing about this game is if you lose health, is if you gain more health than you actually have, it actually just gives you extra health. There's no, there's no upper limit to how much health you can, you can obtain in the game. We use that, we can actually just block one attack. And we won it! Yay! Hmm? Already at maximum skill level, there's no more battle cards available. Yeah, so I think the I think the hat would have been better. Uh, 
I think the feathered cap would have been better. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put some gold down here. That will redirect our our guy, and yeah, we're in the turn. And we won! Wow! Hurrah, hurrah. And now in our next battle, we'll start our next uh, map. We'll start with Blade One. Another happy tale in our short story, if not a little bit violent, and not for the queasy. Yeah, the cat burger would join us. Uh, so normally what ends up happening is not what you just saw there. Usually what ends up happening is you end up failing. You end up dying horribly and the voiceover, the bard that's singing will just tell you, you know, sucks. Sucks to be you. It sucks to be that guy. Da da da. Something something. Make, make it into a song. I don't know. Um, you do it's humorous and fun, but for me, a big problem with this game comes down to just how much dying you end up doing. Like it's supposed to be the point of the game that your your guys are gonna die a lot. They're gonna they're going to die no matter what. Like they, they're going to die, and it's just whew. and after a while, it like feels like I'm banging my head against a brick wall. Cause I I literally no joke. Had situations where I died on the first turn because I pulled out cards that literally did not help me. Like, I had no way of, protect of defending myself, and it really kind of ticked me off that something that they will regularly do. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can find that. I think the apprentice is the, is the mage. So, let's play with this uh, with the magic setup. Not that that ultimately matters anyway, because you have to play with what you have. Anyway, um... Let me read what he said, but I think we gotta... I think we gotta fight the Lich in... that turn, so I'm gonna play some low-level monsters. So, leveling up in this game is actually quite easy, it's just whatever level you are, uh, you fight an enemy at that level and they will, uh, you'll level up. Anything lower, you won't level up for Anything higher, you're gonna take some risks. Um. Next turn, I got it. Go zap them with a quick little lightning bolt there means you attack first, so instant, like basically an instant way. Hmm. I get pigeon nest. Then, no, let's get feathered cap instead. Wow, that was a waste of perfectly good, uh, No, I just gotta... Hmm. And, you know what? I'm gonna end this turn. Darkness, okay. That's not gonna use to send it, so I'll just knock it out with Fire Blast. Uh, use Restore. Uh, Fire Shield, I can at least block one of them. And. Yeah, they kindle. Let's see. Uh, I'll get. I'll get the stiletto. Let me just see what my death looks like so far. Shift, flight. Kindle, Fire Blast. We got two uh, healing spells we can do in the store. And we start with Fire One, so we're talented, so that means I must have beaten a dungeon with this, this guy before. Um, not much else we can do now, so I'm just gonna. Almost. Oh, I got Okay, so the sorceress 
doesn't have any special, uh, yeah, it doesn't have anything special about them. I'm gonna put this up here. Maybe I can get to the chest. Yeah, maybe I can redirect him to the chest before I fight the lich. Eleven hearts. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so it's gonna block. I can spark. Uh, I feel like this is probably gonna end up being a loss. Oh. Wow, I feel like an idiot now. Ugh. But, but basically a free defense right there. Um, and then I can finish it off there that turn. Leveled up. Okay, so... Ooh, plus one to all healing. That would be good. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna do the Mariner's badge. Um, already heading up that direction. Might as well just reassure. And then... Add on a wing there and... Just, there, just for fun. I don't know. Um, hmm. Do fire blast since you can't block anything. Uh, do shift. I can connect the card. Uh, sparks. Let's see what else here. If we can cover so we'll basically spin to blast. Block, so there we go, and hope the next turn. Unblockable. Okay, so we'll just do that. I swear I do not normally do this well in this game. I swear it's not that. Yeah. This might actually be better, so I think I'm gonna go with the spear. Just to get interrupt, just so I can block their attack more often. It seems like everyone here is a magic. Magical user. Um, level four. I haven't yet seen anything higher than level than level three mods, so not counting bosses. Uh, you know what? I do pretty good fire on this one. Just in case. Just in case I can get that, I can get a favor, and then hopefully I'll. Hopefully this will be the one time I remember to use it. So go ahead and turn, we'll go ahead and get that. Uh, that there. One, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. I should be able to reach there. So we have this. Shield that we can block two of any attack. Mine. Hmm. This is red mail. Plus one, plus repel. Yeah, we might as well do that. So now we got a full set of lava going on. Um. We're pretty much automated at this point. I think I'll beat this guy with the... We'll cover a heart in addition to the one damage we're taking from this. So there we go. On the blessed, so we get plus one to all healing anyway, so that helps us, us even more. Uh, I guess we'll just trade one for one. Make sure it's unblockable. Eh. Or score. And we won. So what else can we do? Now I like bless too much. Uh, I just 
take too long. Can redirect and go straight to the boss. Or, or you can go the other direction and not. Mm, okay. Hmm. Yeah, you might as well block and. Take the drag to both blow. We'll save that interrupt for later, see if this is a stronger attack. And then we'll zap them. Do shift. Yep, do that. And we'll create a blow for a blow and kill. Okay, let's see what else. Ooh. Gain plus one heart. I think we already had the red mail, right? Yeah. So scale mail I think gives us yeah, plus two. We'll go ahead and do that as an upgrade. Okay, we'll just put stuff there. I don't know. I put one. Did we? Oh no, we did. There's one behind. You can't. You can't see it. Okay, so now he's half baked. Still being summoned. Minus two hearts. Incoming physical attack gets plus one damage. So his attacks are unblockable. So we'll at most take one damage. Oh no, no, that's right, we heal, I keep forgetting about that. I keep forgetting that blast ability, that is amazing, I love it. So, we'll at least deal one damage, negating his. Uh, we'll block. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll block one at least. <clears throat> we'll block and take. Yeah. Unblockable, we can use that one. We'll cover health. So no matter what we do, so we might as well just trade a blow and recover some health. Uh, let's see here. Shift, so we can at least deal some damage. Especially with Frail, we'll do some good damage on him. Hmm. I think zap for the next turn. Uh, hmm. Oh, there goes some blocks. Oh, and he's <laughs> anyway. And we beat. And we got flesh wounds. What? Oh, that's not a good ability to get. Minus one heart. Oh, great. Left me and your enemies wondering. So yeah, and we've beaten two dungeons, and we still don't have enough to buy anything. Because everything on the tier 2 costs 500. I just spent 50 on this, but like that's like next to nothing. Uh, well actually that's a lot. This is a lot, because you get like 40 per run if you die. So yeah, we beat it. We Completely beat a dungeon in this in this one little quick look. So yeah, two mit, uh, two quests. Some of them have three. I think one of them had four. I could be wrong. For some reason, this one you can't. I don't know why. Like you can you can't go back to dungeons you've completed, but this one you can't access at all. And this is the first one you go to. So I don't know what the deal with that is. Uh, this one I believe is downloadable content. Or part of down the start of downloadable content. And this one is, is it? Yeah. I'm not sure what this one is. Ocular Rift. Going to the IB Slayer and staring match. Yeah. But that's uh, Guild of Dungeoneering.
Um, like I said, the way you, the way you progress in the game is you buy stuff for your guild, increase your the size of your guild, but also the um, the unique type of dungeon mirrors you can get, uh, the loot, the blessings. And so yeah. My portfolio is there. Yeah. But yeah, so this is like I said, it's a fun it's a fun little game. Um I don't like I said, I find myself getting more frustrated at the game than anything else. I end up like Having to send them, having to send a guy out, and they die in the process, almost immediately, and I get like nothing, next to nothing, raiding the dungeon. And it's like <sighs> at at one point, I was like, I literally for like thirty minutes straight could not get through one part because I kept every dungeon you already sent out would die on the first battle, like the first or second battle, and it's like. Just out of sheer bad luck of the draw with cards, and it's like, just, mm, got so mad. But yeah, um, I guess, I guess, I, I guess it's starting to pi uh, pirate out, pirate out, because there's another pirate, starting to balance out a little bit in my favor because I've had so much bad luck. So I guess you just gotta, I don't know. Um. Yeah. This is it's a fun game. If it looks like something you if it looks like something you'd like. It's definitely some it's definitely something to get. Uh I got the game for free through Twitch Prime. I think the game's only twenty bucks. I'm I'm just assuming it's gonna be twenty bucks that's usually the base price for everything. Uh let me Okay, cancel my deck. Nope. Okay. This is this is moments like these are I kinda wish I had a had a had like face cam. It's these rare moments. Uh actually this particular time I don't because I'm I'm shirtless and I don't wanna discuss anyone with my hairy chest. <laughs> <laughs> my hairy manly chest that looks like something out of a, I was gonna say a 1980s anime, but those guys had like, you know, chiseled pecs, they didn't have hairy chests. What am I talking about? They had manly chests, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me, uh, but yeah, so anyway, what I was saying is, uh, it sounds like these are, I really wish I had my, uh, had a face cam sort of thing, cause then like, you could see, you could see me like looking to the left over here, looking to the left, looking to the left. I turn to the right. Oh, there's my phone. Literally, look to the right just a little bit. It was sitting right there in front of me. If it was a snake, I would have been the snake. It would have got me. Uh oh. Okay. The game is only five bucks. So I'll say that price. Yeah, it's probably worth it just to just to check it out. Um. But if you're not into the whole, the concept—the concept is you are going to lose, you are going to die, or your dungeon years are going to are going to die, and that's the whole point of the game to an extent. So, just be prepared for that. Um, also, to exit the game, you have to exit through the options. Can't. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um. Yeah, there you go, quit the desktop. So yeah, with all that said, I'll see you guys later.